Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about writing. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, hi Frederick, why is it that people claim that writing is one of the most important skills for a software engineer? Because they're idiots. At least if you ask me. Or rather, they're they may not necessarily have to be idiots, but they are they are at the philosopher stage of uh, their career where vaguely relevant concepts that has minute impact on something within their work seems to be ever increasingly important to them. What I mean by that is the same thing I mean when I say that some developers claim that pair programming and mob coding is the only way to write code because it is going to improve quality etc etc and so forth just as you have people who swear and die by that scrum is the only way or that uh, agile is the only way or it's not the only way or functional programming is the only way and so forth and so forth and I rarely find that these people actually know what the fuck they're talking about and it usually comes from the fact that I argue that when you get to talk to people like this and you start getting into the corner cases and the exceptions and the circumstances and get into the details as I like to do they start scrambling to justify their viewpoint and that's when I know I'm dealing with it I'm not dealing with a person who actually knows anything I'm dealing with a person who has an opinion about something that is based on some experience that they've had or something that they have inherited as values from somebody else they haven't actually tr tested the like they haven't tested the robustness behind their own idea and so I have worked with some people who do this exact thing where they claim that well I had an old boss he took a course in writing and his motivation was so that he could write better variable names and here I am sitting together with my other co-workers and we still find his uh, variable names to be pretty much the same as everybody else's or potentially worse depending on who you ask or maybe even better maybe even better but for the most part nobody really reflected on oh this is clearly a person who has taken some courses in writing not a single person ever thought that it was only when he said that he had done it when you know anybody actually knew about it and it was only when he started suggesting to other people and in this case he's the boss that you should do that as well where p other people and so sad to say some juniors had the idea to do the basically the same thing and their variables name still sucked sometimes because as I like to say to people the thing that I see all the time with software developers is that you learn clean code and in clean code you get taught that your variable names and your method names and so forth they should reflect what is happening in the software and what I tell you is that that is a really really good general rule to follow because sometimes you can very clearly express what a piece of a system is doing and capture the meaning in what's happening in that variable and that name and have someone actually understand what you're saying but when you try to do the same thing for an entire company or a product or a gigantic super function that does a million things you're starting to get a little bit yeah it's um, it's like one of those uh, situations where explain to me how to solve world peace with one word love done right now we're done like this is all we needed to know in order to solve that problem right it's the same thing here like you you you, you need a few more I think there's a few more syllables like a few more letters that's gonna have to go into that thing before we make something understandable to other people and that's the thing I'm you know, I try to tell people when you, when someone tells you this what they're fundamentally lacking is not a question it's not a question of if they know how to write it's a question of that they don't know how to write code in such a way that it is comprehensible to other people it's the same thing with documentation do you have any idea how many times I have gone to a piece of documentation that has been written in a way where nobody can understand what it what it means 
and that's the situation where I argue that writing makes sense like that you actually understand that well you're not writing this for you you're writing for somebody else and I would argue that it has not so much to do with whether or not you know how to structure sentences or things like that it has to do with your understanding of how to be a good teacher or better, like basically your ability to convey information to other parties in a way that is comprehensible to other people you have to think about the reader of the thing that you are using, creating but at the same time you can't be like weirdly obsessed about variable names I had that conversation the other day with a few of my coworkers where I was trying to exp I was trying to create a folder where we could segment some of the areas of the code that is being owned by one of our teams so that that team could focus a little bit on their area as opposed to the entire system because we're dealing with a monolith in this situation and what I had done was that I had created a folder that was named the team name and they threw the biggest fit you can Im I, I've never seen anything like it. I think I said the same thing seven times. They said, I don't like that name of the, for the folder. And I go, what name would you like it to be? I, I don't like it. Um, I'm not sure. I, and, because, and, and, I, and, then the, and I quote now, they said, if we can't name it, then it shouldn't be in the system. And I sat there and I said, how is it that the company we work for you did, have you noticed that the name on the on the sign doesn't say company that makes IT systems in Azure and in AVS and all these other things and so forth? We're not trying to get every single piece of information that might be relevant to completely understand how this entire organization works in the name of the company. Amazon manages to do it, Netflix manages to do it, Google, like take whatever na brand name you you know. Usually it's really only us weird, weird engineers who are so obsessed with the naming of something and that that name for some reason has to be perfectly aligned with whatever we're talking about so that as I said you're basically trying to squeeze the entire significance of how something works or so forth into one single name and if that was possible every single book you've ever read would be exactly one left uh, one page because that would be the only thing you needed to know right you would every single horror like horror story is somebody dies there would be no need for any more words because you perfectly convey the information right. So what I want you to take away from this is that no, I don't agree. I do, do not agree that writing is one of the most important skills and the only people who claim this is, as I said, people who are exactly the same way as the people who claim that you have to learn functional programming, things like that and so forth. It comes down to that they have an opinion about something and it's usually not a very informed opinion. They have a point that it's important that you write your code so that it's comprehensible to other people. But I would argue that you can learn that without taking a course on writing, just as you can think of a really nice way of writing a little post-it note or something like that that explains to whoever is going to read it what you're intending with whatever you're doing. You can do that without taking a course on writing. And don't buy in too much to these people who, as I said, they have a niche idea, something that is w far from proven to be definitively correct all the time. And they've just gone really wild with it. Have a great day.